Welcome to Maze Leco Challenge. Today's problem is search suggestion system. Given array strings, products, and a string search word, we want to design a system that suggests at most three product names from products after each character of search word is typed. Say that you're doing a Google search and as you're typing, they might give you some suggestions about what you're trying to finish. So that's what we're trying to do here. Now suggested products should have a common prefix with the search word. So as we're typing it up, uh, all these words that we're suggesting has, has to have the same prefix. And if there are more than three of them, we want to just return the first three lexicographically minimum products. So obviously we want to sort our products here uh, to make that a little bit easier. So say that we have this example with all these uh, words and our search word. We start with M and we are going to return the first three that begin with M, which is all of them, but in lexicographical order. And here we can see it's mobile, money, pot, and monitor. As we type it out, MO is the same, but MOU, only these two words have MOU in them, so we return these two in lexicographical order, and so on and so forth. Now, they give you some hints. Uh, they say brute force is probably fine because our length of the string is only 1,000. So we're just going to go with the brute force method. Uh, there are some other suggestions here. We're using a binary search approach and a tree structure, but I found both of them to be overkill. I don't think they're really necessary. What we're going to do is uh, first sort our products and we're going to modify our products by inputting all the words that contain that first character or whatever we're trying to search and we will input it into a temp list and then we're just going to replace this temp list into products that way as we uh, build up our word uh, we're going to have make sure that every word inside of our products now has H then we're going to check for A uh, and then we'll check for V and each time we'll be like removing some words from our products list, right? And each time we're going to add the first three, up to three anyway, and then we'll just return that. So uh, we're just going to go straight forward here. We're going to first initialize our output as an empty list, and let's first sort our products. Okay, now what we need to do is um, check to see if the character and the index number of the word matches, right? So we'll say for index number and character in enumerate search word let's create a temp list and let's make sure that uh, the words well all the words here for uh, pro, I'll call it P for P and products remember these are sorted if the uh, character is equal to P of I then we want to append it to our product uh, sorry, our temp list. So we'll put product here, or P here. Now one thing to note is we have to make sure also the length is going to match. So if I, uh, it's possible that we have, we do P of I here, but the product length is less. So to make sure that's not the case, we're going to say uh, if P of I is less than length of P as well, and uh, these two, because otherwise we shouldn't be able to append this, right? Uh, now we want to add to our output first three in here okay so up to three and if we have more that we're not going to add those and if we have less we're only going to add whatever is uh, in there right and now we're going to replace our products with our temp now finally return pro uh, not products return our output and that should give us our answer so let's make sure this works okay looks like this working three mouse mouse pad yeah, let's go ahead go ahead and submit that and accepted. So time complexity wise, it's going to be uh, well n log n for the sorting, and then a I'll call this m for the length of search word m times n as well. Now you could make this a little bit faster by doing a binary search, uh, finding the lower and upper bound. But I just found that very unreadable and hard hard to understand. I think this is a lot easier, given that we're going to be removing all the products that no longer uh, exist as we build up our search word uh, really ends up becoming the same because the length of this is only a thousand so we'll just end it at that all right that concludes our mail eco challenge i uh, hope you find this helpful uh, i'll be thinking about whether to do the next month or not i'll probably begin but i may take a break uh, just given my schedule so thanks for watching my channel remember do not trust me i know nothing